This video and hundreds more like it, available on freephotoshopvideotutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to create an interesting artistic photo edge using textured photos. So if you uh, go outside with your digital camera and take a picture of like a tree bark of uh, wood chips or rocks or something like that, we can use the texture of those images to be able to create an interesting uh, artistic edge around the image that we want to work with. So let's have a look here what we can do. Right. So here we have an interesting image of a little girl here. And it's interesting because uh, the image itself already is a little bit, you know, uh, gritty with the, 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 the paint chipping off of here. So what we're going to do is something a little bit akin to this. We're going to have a an edge here of the photo and we're going to make it a little bit more you know like uh, uneven sort of like this so uh, the the paint chip here so we're going to make a selection and the selection has to be smaller than the total size of your image we want something more akin to something like this for example because the edge that we're going to be creating is going to be borrowing a little bit outside of the, the selection that we make so just make sure your selection is smaller and now we're going, what we're going to do is uh, just double click here on a background layer just to transform it into a regular layer, right? And then we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, add a layer mask so that we've masked out the, you know, the image so we only have the part that we want to work with. Okay, to make things a little bit easier uh, to see, I'm just going to create a new layer, bring it down to the bottom and do uh, control and backspace, which is uh, white is my background color. Control and backspace will fill in my background color to that layer so we have white there okay now what we need to do is uh, of course have open um, well you need to have it open but just make sure that you have an image that you want to be working with just know where it is saved on your hard drive and so forth so for example an image like this uh, would do quite well the only thing you need to pay attention to is that the image needs to be saved as a Photoshop image you don't need to do anything specifically you can just go to file save as and then, of course, your image will probably be uh, as a JPEG, uh, if you took it with your digital camera. And you want to just change that to Photoshop. So it saves it as a PSD file. And then you can go ahead and click on Save. That's the only thing that it needs to happen is it needs to be a Photoshop file. It can't be anything else. Right. Once you have that image saved as a Photoshop file, now what we can do is uh, make sure that we are on our uh, layer mask here. We're going to go into Filter, Distort, and Displace. Filter, Distort, and Displace. And in displace, there's it's a two-step uh, process here. This will uh, tell the displace uh, what, uh, how much of the effect to apply, and then on the second uh, step, we'll select which image we want to apply to displace. Right. So the horizontal and the vertical scale basically means how much of the effect you want to bring through. Now, of course, keep in mind this is a is this is an uh, an edges effect. So, for example, 20 and 20 will add about 20 pixels of. Uh, of uh, uh, pixel of uh, of your edge uh, effect coming through, so something like five would be a little bit less, or like a lot less, just a little bit, and uh, twenty would be more, and, and so forth. So we're gonna we're gonna stick with twenty right now, just so you can see what the effect is, and then you can go back in, you know, undo, go back in and see what it is that you like to do. If you if you like that twenty, or if you want to put it to ten, or go to thirty, and so forth. And the things to pay attention here is you want to have stretch to fit and repeat edge pixels. Okay. Once we have that, we'll go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to go ahead and select that uh, the tree bark here that we saved as a Photoshop file. So I'm going to have to click on Open. And as you can see, we instantly here have our photo edge. I'm just going to zoom in here so you can see what it did. So we have the, the edges here, and it looks really nice and, you know, raw, uh, really kind of matches here. With, with the image here. And um, one thing that you'll notice is that the edges here of, of the image are actually quite, they're quite sharp, right? Let me just zoom in here a little bit more so you can see a little bit better. But the edges are quite crisp. And if you wanted your edges to be a little bit less like that, what you can do is actually apply some blur to the, the, the textured image itself, right? And the other, other thing I want you to pay attention to here is, of course, that 20 pixels that we added, right? The 20 and 20 in the horizontal and the vertical. So this is pretty much what the 20 looks like. If you put more, then you have more of this coming in. And if you put less, you have less of it. So it's kind of up to you. I think with this image here and with the texture, uh, it works pretty well. It really will vary on the image of the texture that you're working with, really. So what I'm going to do is just show you uh, the blurring of the image and how much of a difference that makes. So I'm just going to uh, undo this right now. We're going to um, select our image here of the tree bark. And I'm just going to go into Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. And I'm just going to add uh, a one pixel Gaussian blur. Of course, this will kind of depend on what size image you have in the first place. 
but uh, we just want to slightly blur it. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And I'm just going to uh, save the image. So just Control and S, save the image. We're going to go back in here, uh, make sure that we are on our layer mask, go into Filter, Distort, Displace. Of course, you can change here. I think 20 worked really well. We're going to go ahead and select our image, and there you are. So now you can see that with uh, with one, just one uh, pixel uh, added to, to the Gaussian Blur, we've made the edges a little bit smoother. So it's up to you what you uh, want to, to do as an effect for this. Of course, you can, like I said, you can combine these things. So you can go back in if you have like another image of uh, something different or a different part of a tree and so forth. You can go back in and add that and it will continue refining and making this a little bit more interesting. So it just depends how much time you want to spend with it and also what effect you're looking uh, to have. But in a sense, this is kind of like a, an interesting way to create photo edges that are, you know, based on textures. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.